We want to test a boatload of different vehicles up against a ton of different stunts, and so it's time for some challenges. Motorcycles, big cars, slow cars, fast cars, cars that don't make any sense, they're all here. And I'm gonna have to find different ways to get these vehicles through challenges specifically designed to make me hate myself, so let's do this. We're starting with motorcycles on mobile tightropes, and I didn't even think that this motorcycle was fast enough to do the tightrope, since it said it was a moving tightrope, but I didn't expect it to move that fast. This tightrope rope has like rocket thrusters on it, even at full speed. <laughs> I can't get it with this. No wonder it's called LOL. All right, we went slow. We might as well go fast. 100%, I know this has the speed. I really shouldn't say that. I am mostly, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gaining, we're gaining distance from the back. I was, oh God. Okay, I didn't realize I was gonna have to complete some sort of Tetris championship while I'm, whoa. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I could pop over that. How long is this? I love that the wind turbines are there just to get you looking at them so that you don't see the stupidity that lies ahead of you that you have to go over. So maybe I can pop the front wheel. Oh, okay. I lost all of my forward speed. Maybe we can survive just barely. Now I have a ramp. And, uh, there's like a new, was that pro? Legend ramp, that's the god ramp. Oh, let's stick to landing. And a big jump into to the, did my platform just completely disappear into the nether realm? I'm pretty sure it vanished. Now I'm kind of wondering if getting past that one stack of pancakes was a legitimate thing that this bike can do, or if I just got lucky. This here, that had to have been luck. I am prepared to fly over my handlebars just to check. And flying over my handlebars, I am. We need to go with, what is this? What is this? Anime? This thing should roll though. Oh, plenty of speed. The sensitivity of the turning is way more sensitive. That's kind of redundant. I, ooh. I don't even know if I'm gonna need to pop over this. I might, I, yeah, I don't even have to pull back. Now, wheeling this stuff, and jumping it. I don't want to go off the front though. No! I bounced off of the, <laughs> the wire there. Oh, I can one time this stuff. Watch this. Whoop. Go over it even, I can go over it slow and still have, I almost lost my tongue to that wind turbine. I can even go over it slow and still have time and space. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna stay straight enough though to do that gigantic jump. And then there's a second one after that one. The dragster is definitely superior because it doesn't pull so hard when you're turning, unlike this. Also, the fact that my shirt and the ground are very close to the same coloration is not helping. A big air! The problem was my helmet wasn't banana flavored enough. So I figure if I go even a stronger amount of very artificial banana flavor, we would do slightly better. Easy. Land straight. You don't want to land in a bounce because it just ruins the run. So this is gonna be a big jump right here, ready? A big jump, try and stay on top. The jumps are easily the hardest part of this because if you're slightly over, well, that hurts. What I was trying to say is even if you are barely angled to the left or the right, you're gonna fly so far that you'll never land it back on the platform. So I have to very limp wrist the jumps until I get to that one jump where I need to, you know, get over another obstacle designed to destroy my face. I'm not gonna make it. All right, get the uh, the Olympic gold podium right there. No big deal. Okay, this feels really straight. I need I need a little bit of rightward input. Big jump. Stick the landing. Keep going. Go 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 go. And then kick it back over. How do I? How do I get that checkpoint? Do I need even more speed? Okay, I think I'm gonna roll this with as much speed as possible. Yeah, I'm gonna stay way close to the front. As far front forward as I can. Oh, this is really straight. This is good. This is a good run. Big jump, over, land it, and then we have a checkpoint. We wanted to put cars in GTA up against water slides, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. Because it was only a matter of time before this nightmare happened, Alex has put together a series of tests 
where I'm going to have to pilot vehicles through water slides. Because water slides are not meant to have cars ride on them and instead are just meant to increase insurance claims, I'm gonna have to find a way to get to the end of this before I lose my mind. As always, Alex has given us all these different cars that are clearly not meant to drive on a water slide, but only one can make it to the end. Let's do this. I am so glad that this challenge finally came my way. My whole life I've thought to myself, what will I ever do if I'm in my vehicle and a wild water slide suddenly jumps out in front of it? Which car gets yeeted the furthest by a water slide? A question I'm sure all of us have asked ourselves while driving to Starbucks. Now, yes, I did decide to choose the stupidest vehicle first. <laughs> <laughs> was it like a like a football field that I have to eat my car across from the water slide? I don't even know if I can get this thing down there. If I can get what is what is like points or distance? If I can get forty points, I'm gonna go ahead and consider that a win. I oh my god! <laughs> no, I have a hard enough time driving this thing normally. You want me to? Oh. Well, I almost got a chassis slide down the water slide. It kind of is. I came down here to take a look at some of the other challenges that I'm gonna have to do. Uh, it makes me cry. Listen, I'm someone where if something doesn't work the right way, you just turn it around and try it that way, okay? We're exhausting all possible options here. I'm not giving up on the brute. Maybe I should give up on the brute. I'm just kidding. I told you I'm not giving up on the brute. Oh my God. Oh, oh, woo. Okay, yeah, you know what? Sure, let's just grind it on two wheels. Why not? This is freakishly working. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that is unbelievably terrible. <laughs> let's try a different car. For the first time, I think I found the ER. Great, thanks, Alex. I think I found the quad's perfect challenge because this is the one vehicle that can just drive down the slide. Oh, yeah. It is! <laughs> Do I have to get, oh, I assume I have to get past the 69. Of course it is. Well, it flies really good. I just don't know if it can get far enough. Oh, you can see from the uh, gray jam spot exactly how far I got. That's how we'll score the vehicles. Okay, I'm not really sure how I can get extra air or like aerodynamics or something. I can try pulling back. Well, that worked pretty good. I got an extra 10 yards on that. Don't mind me, everyone. Just using my blood for modern art. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, <laughs> how about that? I, uh, I'm pretty impressed. I didn't really think I could make it that far. <laughs> Whew, I gotta put on a new helmet for that one. Hey, right on the line! <laughs> Which car can climb faster up a water slide? Don't know. I'm not sure there was ever a period in my life where I had to guess. Oh, whoa, okay. I guess it's 20 seconds. Oh, okay, so this is a re like a restarter. It kind of like starts and goes and you get 20 seconds to go up to the top. So, uh, I mean, I can climb it. Hadn't really thought about it, but the ATV definitely climbs it okay. Now, as long as, you know, there's not a random, oh, I forgot about, okay, that is a, this is a fairly strong curve you've got there. The only thing that I'm concerned about is whether or not Alex programmed in, you know, like children flying down the water slide to get in my way and kill me, that too. Waiting on you, man. Come on, there we go, okay. And, <sighs> I hate myself right now, you have no idea how much. Okay, let's try that with a little less failure. Big go! Yeah, okay. Now, when we get to the top here, I gotta watch out because it suddenly turns to the right and because it's a water slide, you know, <laughs> you don't get, there's not a lot of room for air, okay? You either, oh, wow, this thing, you can, uh, you can wall ride a water slide really good. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Ow! I wasn't really checking, but I'm, I'm assuming I did not make it in 20 seconds. I will say, there has to be something that climbs a water slide a lot faster than that. Bullied. Poor Sherp. Now, when I said there's probably something that climbs faster, it probably is not this. Because I don't even think that we're going to get past the, eh, maybe the 40? Maybe we can make it to the 40. Oh, we're making it to the 45. Right at the 45. Anxiety Simulator 2020. Oh my God, what is going on here? Whoop. Uh, 
Huh. <laughs> can't believe I landed it on here. Okay, I'm gonna, oh my God. I'm gonna give this one last try. If I can keep it. Oh, here we go. This is perfect. This is perfect. Oh yeah. That's a perfect jump with this thing. And since 50 is, well, like 47 is about the best we can do. We need a different car. Goodbye, sweet prince. Oh, I didn't. Huh, it takes me a really long time to, oh, to get out the driver's side. So instead of jumping and letting it tumble to its death, I too am tumbling to my death alongside of the vehicle. This is quite embarrassing. Luckily, the shrub blocked the rest of my fall. Okay, how about if we have a convertible? See, this, this, tr this Jeep right here, like the old Willy Jeep, it doesn't have a topper. Okay, maybe that means something. Maybe that means absolutely nothing. Why do I feel... Like I'm going to be eating the steering wheel. Yeah, if it can't make it through this, we're not going any further with it. The answer is to always just throw money at the problem. That's the idea behind this limo. Now it does have some speed. So it is totally possible that it can get to 69. Oh, it's almost there. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> I love how the ejection out the driver's side just makes no sense. Timber. <laughs> All right, let's give this one more try. I, I could have sworn I could make it. Maybe it'll, come on, baby, come on, come on, no. Rocket powered, money coated hot dog. Ah, uh, it's almost like if I twirl extra, I can get a few more feet. All right, last try. That, wow, oh my God. I'm gonna land on my feet. Told you, after a nice breakfast of frosted glass, I thought I would pick the compact car. The cool part is that the entire car can fit. Oh yeah, I forgot that I left this here because I was busy flying through the windshield. Everyone loves the power of grenades. Oh God. Ooh. I don't actually know if grenades can get this thing out of the way. I'm grabbing another vehicle real quick because uh, tires. I need something with more power to get the other car out from in front of the water slide or I can't continue. Go away. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Okay, I think I can get it. We're gonna go up. We're gonna, then we're gonna, you know, rubber band this down and that should get rid of it. Thank you. That'd be amazing if now this car gets stuck on the front. <laughs> Don't worry, I think I can wiggle this thing out. Well, I say I can, oh God. Okay, it was able to get out, so that's good. Now it's just a matter of, can I make it a 69? The answer is yeah! Nice. See, the more tires you have, the faster you can slide down the water slide, obviously. All right, 20 seconds. How quick is it? Uh, feels a little quicker than the ATV. Yeah, it's definitely faster than the ATV. The question is, can it hug these walls fast enough to get up with, oh my God, oh God. Can it hug the walls good enough to get up within 20 seconds so I don't get backhanded by the, well, the windmill's there. Uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> I thought I could land back on the water slide. All right. This run's doing pretty good. Getting some, uh, oh God, getting some water slide surfing in. No big deal. Oh, the front of the car keeps trying to jump off of the water slide and send me to my death. Oh, I got it. Which car can descend down a water slide faster? I don't know if the 20 seconds was for the windmill. Or if the teleporter goes away. I'm guessing the windmill's always there and the teleporter just like goes away or something. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, this is, this is, oh my God. No, no. Oh, I'm gonna land on this. Oh, did that, did that windmill just teleport like to the side? So I had to do this again. And yes, the windmill is always there. So I'm guessing what happens is the teleporter goes away after 20 seconds if you can't get it. But now it's the descent. And the problem is, is that you can't, like, you can't slow down. You're basically just, a, oh my God, you're basically just along for the ride. And the backside of the car is just grinding the whole way. Ah! Not my hood, I love that hood. Not that door, I love that door. Everything's under control. Everything is much less under control now. Oh God, oh. Huh, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I thought I would. Well, well, never mind. I was gonna say I thought I would roll down this hill much longer, and I'm just rolling down the hill much slower. And my car fell right into the hole in the background. That has got to be worth some points. I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this. Look at that right there. Keep that nose down. 
to squeeze it right onto the left side. All right, now we're going to the right. Spin, big spin around to the left. And then hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, go, 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 go. No, I was right there. Okay, so this one has the windmill and the windmill teleports in if you're over 20 seconds. We didn't give the compact car its fair share of tries. So I thought I would, wow, this seems very aerodynamic. So I thought I would give it a shot. And I'm not gonna lie, it feels like it gets a lot of distance once it gets launched in the air. So right away, oh, we're clearing it. I can already tell you we're gonna clear. I might go past the 69, almost. So this is one of the best water slide jumping cars that I have used. Ah, the scent of burning rubber in the morning. I love the way it assaults my, my sinuses. Oh, wow. Okay, I had no idea. This thing cannot climb a water slide at all. Not even a little bit. All right, I wanted to give this another try and it's, it's impossible. It won't climb it. Now this pink vehicle. If I had to put my money on a car to win this, it would probably be this because this has absurd speed. It's got the spoiler. It's got the turbos. It went past the 69. I may even call that 79. I'm surprised Alex didn't put the numbers 69 on this vehicle. Oh, the other car is still just chilling out. Look at it. Can you see it <laughs> on the top of the 20? So I'm going to have a problem. I'm going to have to like jump over the first car, which you can totally do. Never mind. This isn't even slightly problematic. This car is amazing. Ooh, it kind of, it kind of, I don't know what to call this. It like turtles itself get stuck on the top over there. Can I launch myself back to the beginning and restart this? Yep. Okay. Stay in the middle, and you can keep a lot of your speed. The problem is, if I try and, God. If I try and wall ride too hard with this thing, sometimes the back end kicks out, and then it flips onto the roof. Oh my God. I think that was the first time that we did that correctly. So you are supposed to beat the windmill. I just kind of like cheated my way past the windmill and somehow managed to get there before it backhanded me down the challenge. This thing, this feels, kind of slow down before that curb and then just ride it all the way down. This feels fantastic. I mean, it's fantastic as, you know, riding on a on a water slide with a car can feel. We beat that by like three seconds. That's incredible. Oh yeah. If, uh, if, if there's like ever a Kevin Costner water world issue going on in the planet and we're being assaulted by water slides, always pick this vehicle, which can ramp off a water slide the highest. Let's find out. I'm assuming you have to jump over that wall and then something happens. It's time to water slide the right way. Okay. Oh, it gets to about 40. Huh. I will say getting to this point is remarkably easy with this car. It is, it is just a one shot. So full speed, as fast as possible, totally went onto the roof. Probably lost all of my speed. Gonna end up at 20. Somehow I have to find a way to do this and keep, there we go. Yes, that was probably the best launch I could get. And we got it. <laughs> yes, still getting there with the power metal. I'm feeling good. I, this is, this choice was the way. Which car can push a boat up a water slide? Oh yeah, for all those times when I was driving up a water slide in my vehicle and suddenly I was I encountered a boating motorist who was stuck uh, you know you as, as a good Samaritan you have to push him up the water slide because that's where boats boat I can only imagine a water slide company or like a water park where you know like how salmon swim upstream or whatever when they're spawning just like a bunch of salmon flying down the water slide with the water, people fishing out of their boat, trying to go up the water slide. This entire challenge is an amalgamation of absolute stupidity. I can't even cheat this because it, there's slowdown sticks, so I can't jump over it. Uh, I got bad news. So, um, this car cannot push a boat up a water slide. I know, I know. There's no way that this thing could push a car up a water slide either. I just want to see how far it jumps. Uh, the answer is not far enough. The time has come to YOLO DOLO with the YouTube mobile. Oh yeah. 
Oh god. Okay. A little bouncy because of the independent suspension. Oh big you know I'm gonna fall short. I hate to say it. I don't know if this thing is gonna get No, once it gets in the air, it goes pretty far. I don't think that this thing's gonna get past 69. Come on, that was probably my best jump. If that can't make it, it's not gonna get there. All of the superchargers. Ah, raw. Just how I like my salmonella. What kind of distance can a car like this get? This is like a missile. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. This doesn't have any traction though. How is it going to be able to climb a water slide when it has no traction? All right, we're just gonna try and muscle this and hope that it works. Here we go. All of the horsepower. All of the horsepower. Uh, hey. This is. Yep, this is exactly what I thought would happen. Uh, time for the half and half car. Half sanity and half stupid. Kind of like me. Minus the sanity part. Wow, that was the worst jump I could have had. Uh, and I'm still gonna get about 55. Okay, this jump is slightly better. The problem is it's so wide that you only get like one tire on there. Made it though. How am I gonna climb with this thing? Let's see how it does it. Uh, well, climbs better than the other car. Wow, it climbs pretty good. Once you get going, oh my God. <laughs> Once you get going, I am very impressed with how much traction this thing can keep on a water slide. You know, being that it's driving basically sideways the whole time. I think this could possibly make it. Pretty good run. I don't think we're gonna beat it, but I might be able to get lucky and park this thing in. No. When I had a smaller vehicle, I had a chance. Now the vehicle's a lot longer and a lot wider. You have to win this, you know, the right way. Or do you? What car can descend the fastest? Now we're gonna see how this thing does. The cool part is, this is hard to describe, it feels like it has a lot of traction when it's swinging around. Like right now, at this moment, I feel like I am completely under control, which is funny because it's, you know, it's not driving at all. Uh, I have to get up a little bit of speed if I wanna possibly beat this before the windmill ends up teleporting in the middle. Nope, we're, we're, we're it's real bad. Oh yeah, come on, you can do it. That's that nice and patient. Nice and patient. There we go. You know what? Screw patience. I don't got to. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ah. You didn't say how I had to descend it. All right. This car lives to see another day. But now. Oh my God. <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say, gonna get to the top. Going for a totally straight run. Want to keep all four tires on the water slide and easy jump. Now, can it push a boat? Uh, probably. Got plenty, oh, it can certainly ride the boat. Do not, do not climb the boat. You have to push the boat. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh no, it gets about halfway and then it loses all of its forward momentum. All right, we're gonna rock this backward. Rock it forward, come on, baby. Come on! Still only gets about halfway. That's a problem. I really didn't expect that this car would die out right here. I need something thin, but that has a little bit of back end to it. So we're gonna try this. Bulky, they say. The wide back end. I like it. First, how well does it jump the challenge? Well, it, oh my God. Well, it definitely got the brand new record for flips. Hey, there goes the hood. There goes the door. Let's see if we can lose all the doors. Yay. I didn't lose that last door. Okay, let's try and line this up. Jeez. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna need patience for this one because it, man, it loves to go flying off the right or the left. That's perfect. Oh my God, super easy. Almost got to that. You know what? Hold on. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go up the next challenge. I don't even care at this point. Oh God. Oh wow. It regained its traction while it was sliding downward from the door. Oh, whoa. From the challenge. I need to see if I can land this. Hold on. Hold on. 
Hold on. Oh! <laughs> uh, right onto the windmill. <laughs> Ouch! Oh my god! Okay. Getting to the climb, not bad at all. I just have to do the climb in a controlled manner. Forward, gas, keep the car in the middle, then kind of move it over to the left a little bit, ride the corner, ride the lightning. The lightning hurts. The lightning is trying to insert itself into body parts that it doesn't belong into, but it still does it really fast. Wow. Water slide descent. How well does it stay in so Ow! How well does it stay inside of a water slide? I mean, pretty good. It stayed inside so well that I lost all of my back glass. Okay. Well, this isn't good. This is highly natural. Okay, now it's more natural. I'm going down this backwards. You know what? Sure. Let's give this a shot. How hard can it be? Just driving a car down a water slide backwards. Now I'm driving a car in the air backwards. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This car really struggles with the descent. Uh, because it's it's almost too fast, I hate to say it. I have to slow down, which annoys me. Because <laughs> if I don't slow down, it will just ping ball, it will just ping ball right off the sides. Hold on, this is actually a really good run. Come on, come on. No, no! What I was trying to say is it'll pinball off the sides and then I'll die. Okay, the, the start here was real fast. So this is looking really good. I think I've got a little bit of time to take this curly Q, curly fry, Hardy's delicious French fry part of the, oh, come on, part of the water slide. Yes, just in the nick of time. Less than a second left. Now this one we know how to beat. Mainly just line it up. Line it up, make sure all four tires are on there. Big jump, forward lean, and perfect. First try. Now none of the vehicles have managed to push a boat up a water slide yet. Will Bulky be the first? Let's find out. Huh? Uh, so it gets kinda, it gets kinda lodged the same place the last car did, like halfway up. It definitely, well, it starts to climb it. Okay, I have to show you something. I had to redo my entire run because this can push this up the water slide, but you can't have any damage to the front of the car. So I basically had to do this without damaging, I hate myself right now, without damaging the car and it can push the boat off. I shouldn't even say damaging the car. It's not about damaging the car. It's about not losing your front bumper. As long as the front bumper stays in one piece, look at this, no problem. Now I just have to make sure that I slow down so I'm not the one that goes flying off of the water slide and then we can make the jump easy. Which car can do a triple water, water slide spiral? I wanted to do a water slide turtle, but that was just too dumb. Well, Alex, I don't know if I'm happy to see this. <laughs> oh, this is just, okay, this is ugly. Oh, wow. Oh, it is a heavy pulling spiral too. What was that? What happened? I love that my life gave up partway through that spiral. I think what happened is he's got water spouts all over the place. And I'm pretty sure I got beaten across the mouth with a water spout. Okay. Concentration. Preparation. Frustration. Hey, what are you doing? What do you want? You want money? You want some beer? What in the world just happened there? Did you suffer from radioactive? Oh, whoa! Why? What did it? Did it? Did that mountain lion just steal my car? I'm pretty sure that mountain lion just stole my car. Hey, get out of the car. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be the death of me. I've been at this for a little while. The idea is stay inside, inside to outside. Look, then, okay, that was, oh my God. All right, I screwed up at the end. I didn't follow my own instructions. Use the force, Gray. Yeah, the force has been abusing me for years, okay? I'd rather not use the force. I'd rather just, oh my God. It's, oh, I'd rather just get lucky. Okay, we're gonna try it 
from the inside to the outside. Inside, outside, yes, yes! Finally, oh my God, that means that we have a winner! We wanted to put thick cars versus thin cars, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. These aren't just normal GTA cars. Modders have made them specifically to be the biggest, widest, and also smallest and thinnest cars possible. Then the concoction of sadness gets worse because I have Alex creating the board that I'm gonna have to use these vehicles on and try and complete. Some of the cars are stupidly thin, some of the cars are stupidly wide, but Alex said in order to get past some of the challenges, I'm gonna need to use the most ridiculous cars there are. I've been given these hideous beings to try and get this pain to end, so let's do this. I don't even know what to say. This is... This is awful. Oh my god, it's still going! <laughs> it's still going! There's not really a choice here because they they're all terrible. I'm not gonna lie, I need to know. So is this is this car always sideways? Like is it always drunk? Is it like driving a motorcycle? I could barely fit inside. My knees are sticking out of the side of the vehicle. This is a control panel I get. It's not even a steering wheel. It's basic. <laughs> you have to be this wide to jump thingy. Okay. It's not even a steering wheel. It's like a jelly bean that kind of turns the car. <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, it, oh, oh God. Oh, it is like a motorcycle. It's like a motorcycle that's <laughs> just learning how to walk. <laughs> supposed to do with this oh we're going for it we're absolutely going for it before i throw this thing at the bottom of the well i need to at least do one ramp <laughs> oh no ow <laughs> this is literally like driving a slice of whole wheat bread imagine just taking a slice of swiss cheese and strapping an engine on it that's, that's what, I cannot believe I managed to ramp this thing. Uh, we're not using this ever again. Ow, my spine. I don't even know what just happened. I just got murdered by this thing. Yep. Might as well go from one extreme to the other. What kind of license do I technically need to drive this thing? Oh my God. Oh boy. Oh no, it's awful. I, I don't, I can't even describe what it's like to drive this. I could fit like 250 passengers in this thing. All of Southwest Florida could chill out inside of my passenger seat. I'm gonna go ahead and protect my skull. Obviously that matters. Okay, so basically the wheels, they, they just have minds of their own. Trying to keep this thing straight is almost impossible. So I have to use the widest ramps in order to ramp this thing. Oh, God, you <laughs> ready? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my bumper fell off, but my bumper's like 800 feet long. Probably just killed like 60 people. Come on, you ugly duckling. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can make this. Oh, this is good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, that's big speed. Got it. <laughs> landing now the only problem is i can't i can't waggle this thing sideways so how do i how do i recover oh oh here we go oh yeah oh this is this is totally normal just gotta just gotta possess it like the devil rise up <laughs> rise up <my> <laughs> this is like the blair witch project of cars look at this this is i you need to start performing some rituals in order to get the demons out of this thing when you see this. I, I legitimately don't know how to put this thing back on its tires though. Also say hello to American Cheese Gaps. Okay, new plan. Whatever you do, do not land on the hood or the roof because this thing's like a tur- Oh God. Oh wait, hold on. Booyah! <laughs> oh, I'm sliding off. Well, half of me is off. Well, the other half is on. I mean, can I save this? Woo! Okay, that is not how physics works. Oh god. Oh nope. Oh. God, this thing's like a turtle. If you if it ends up on its back, it's completely useless. I love how physics has absolutely no sway over this car. Ooh. Almost murdered a bird on my way down. I, I hate to say it, but I'm kind of getting used to driving this. Look at that. It glides too. American cheese gaps. I've I've I'm learning the pattern for driving this thing. Oh, it is. The cheese is exactly as wide as the car. I get no leeway. God, I have to jump these. What could possibly go wrong? I love American cheese. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Uh, well, this is awkward. Half of the car made it and half of the car didn't. 
I don't know if I get the rest of the car on the platform, though. This is... This is- this is a nightmare. It's a nightmare to drive this thing. Alright, one time. One time. Go! Ah! Uh, it almost- it almost chassis slides across the cheese. I really want to get across this cheese with this thing. The problem is it's just too wide. It's like a giant windshield wiper of death. Getting past the ramps, no problem. <laughs> Going down the drain here between two cheese slices. Getting between the the area that you need to jump with the ramps is fine. Trying to do anything else in this is awful. Let's try a new car. Okay, here's the plan. Let's use something that's not insanely wide, lol, but is just pretty wide. Oh yeah. Oh, this is way better. It's not very fast though. That's the problem. Also, what am I supposed to jump? Nothing is... I guess I could chassis slide this. See, this car, you can only fit 12 of your friends in. It's like a limo, but it's wide instead of long. This is the new evolution of party vehicles. Are you ready? And lift off! Uh, the flight pattern, not too good on this. I mean, it's got some speed to it. It just doesn't get, oh, it doesn't get any height. All right, I'm gonna try one of the ramps with a lot more height, like this. Here we go. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's right there. I think this thing can legitimately do it. I think it could do it. Oh, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna do it. Yes. Oh, the ugly duckling has turned into a swan, baby. Okay, now getting across the cheese shouldn't be that bad because, oh yeah, oh yeah. One try right there. This is the Ram 98,000. We're way past rookie numbers. So now we have the spinny thingy, I think it was called. So all you have to do is follow this. And you have to do it at just the right speed. I know how this works. Oh, yeah. Oh, it kind of wobbles a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is... Oh, God. No, 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 to the no! All right, getting to this point has become very easy. So now it's just a matter of achieving the right speed to get through this. Okay, so we're gonna start with forward motion. There we go. Okay, now. Yeah, this feels good. Yeah, this feels really good. We're right in the middle. Speed is holding. Kind of stay in the center. No big deal. And lands it. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was really scared, but this isn't that bad so far. Popping gaps thingy. Oh. Okay. All right. We want a good amount of speed. Actually, we need as much speed as possible. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is perfect. This is perfect. And big jump. Okay. I think I just need a little bit more speed. Here we go. This is the run. Oh. Man, it, it barely can't get there. All right, check it out. This is a thin car, but it doesn't seem that bad. It's only like half thin, right? It's not like uh, it's not like a sheet of eight by 11 and a half paper, like the dump truck. So it should be okay. Uh, it doesn't drive that bad. Can definitely fit on a ramp. Oh yeah. Oh, this is great. This is, this is the center of gravity is a little wild. Oh God. This is the closest thing to a real car I've driven yet. Okay, with the spinning thing, as long as I line this up and we get some forward motion, I screwed that up. Watching this thing go across this is truly one of nature's great blessings. It's like watching a baby elephant be born or something. So forward motion, good amount of speed right about here. Wow, I need to go even faster. All right, I'm gonna get like as much distance as possible for this one. We're really gonna, I'm gonna overshoot it this time. Cause I can slow down easy. The <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about how easy it is to pop a wheelie in this. God, it feels like someone just strapped a giant engine to a lawn chair. Here we go. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Here we go. Perfect. Oh yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's smooth. Supple. Succulent. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I do want to drown myself after that. You know what? Let's try a different car. Oh, this thing's got the power. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is probably even worse to drive than any other car so far. But it's got a lot of pick-me-up. And it fits right on the green 
ramps. Say hello to my 285,000 cc engine. Oh, it's like a UFO. You know what? Just go. Just go. Go, 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 go. Oh, the speed. Oh, the speed is incredible. Full spin. No big deal. Now I'm the windmill. <laughs> I hate to say it. It doesn't drive that bad. I mean, it does, but compared to the, the really wide one, it's not that bad. And it's way faster than the truck. So that's good. So we should be able to keep up with this. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. That feels perfect. Oh, keeping speed in this thing is a lot easier too. It is a little shaky and wobbly once you start picking up speed. You better get ready to eat us the Dinas. The cheese has been bested by my blade. Literally bested by my blade. It kind of looks like I'm, actually it looks like I'm driving a stick of ram. <laughs> Perfect speed. Look at that, right there. Now this should get tons of distance in order to get past the poppy things. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, you gotta, you gotta, look at that right there. We're gonna roll through it. We're gonna roll through it. The second one. D what is this? What is this? Ah, it's like some sort of, it's like some sort of dragon maw. <laughs> Shouldn't have slowed down. Four eyes in guard. <laughs> oh God. The problem is, is that, oh, there's like a stop down, a stop stick down here. Ooh, I'm like caught, what in the, oh, I got caught. <laughs> I'm caught inside the contraption. I could probably use this as a raft in order to survive the water. Yeah, getting through all this, I can do it in one shot now. A few seconds later. Don't, don't, don't you do it, Karma. Don't you do this to me, Karma, thank you. I can do this pretty much in one shot now. Now it's just a matter of timing it because you can't slow down when you start this. There's no way. There's no, there's basically no brakes on these things. It doesn't work. So jump and I, I just got to hope. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go, 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 go. Through the maw. Yes. What is this? Ah, oh God. Double wide stalking windmill thingy. No, <laughs> not with the cars like that. Whoa. <laughs> Full flip, sticks to landing. Not with the cars like this. All right, let's uh, let's just line up and we're gonna roll. It is not you that stalks me. It is I, oh, it is I that stalk you, yeah. There we go. Ah! Oh, 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 oh no. Hold on, I need to land this, I need to land this, I need to land this. Nice and flat, no, are you kidding me? I was there! Oh yeah. Oh, we're, oh, okay, I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a new height record. And bounce it, roll it, stick the landing. Beautiful. Well, that worked out fairly well. Thin versus thick, tight rope thingy. This has been the chosen car so far. Oh God! Uh, I had to chassis slide this? I don't really know how it feels to chassis slide something this wide. Uh, ow. I mean, I guess it would be okay. I just need to pick a side. Because you can't go in the middle. There's no way. It's not wide enough. All right. We're going to... Can you stop, please? We're going to pick right. Terrible decision making. Go. Oh, there's a stop stick. You put a slow down stick there? What are you supposed to do? Don't mind me. I'm just door surfing. Okay. Rich. AF. See, this one isn't that wide at all. It's a little wide. It's like a double wide, I would say. This is kind of the best of all the worlds, right? Because it's not freakishly wide. It's got some speed to it. It's got decent length, so it should go right over the... Okay. Uh, my money didn't save me there. Don't make me regret this limo. Don't make me regret this limo. You're making me regret this. I'm gonna give this one more try. I cannot believe that a car that looks like a real car did this badly. It's our only motorcycle. For It's more like a tricycle because the saddlebags are just laying on the ground, providing sort of like training wheels. I love that the handlebars are 65 feet wide. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay. Oh, this is glorious. This thing's amazing. This is possibly, it's, it's not the best motorcycle I've driven, but it is, uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's 35 inch front tire is not that bad at all. A oh, big jump. Ow. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god, it's gone. Okay, let's let's jump that with a little less authority. Ooh, that was way too close for comfort. Okay, over the cheese. Great job on the suspension of this thing. All right, now can it get around the spinny thingy? Oh, it's it's really fast. Okay, a little bit less, little less forceful on the accelerator. There we go. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This feels good. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, and. Oh, and then a nice exit. Perfect. Getting through the poppers is gonna be great because it's not crazy thick. It's just, it's only got like two C's instead of 30. Oh, well I made it, but the motorcycle did. I hate to say this. It's possible that I need more surface area to glide. Yeah, it can't make it. It can't make it across. What have you done to my supercar? What is this? I mean, it's pink, which is awesome. If I get in on this side, do I, how do I, I don't even, well, how the spoiler is in normal size. Ah! <laughs> what I was gonna say is I love how the spoiler is in normal size. Whoa. Oh, this thing, this thing is real jerky. <laughs> oh God. Okay. And you, whoa. <laughs> Little helicopter spin through the cheese. Ooh. Oh God. Oh yeah. Oh, it's fine. This is totally under control. Wow. Huh? Okay. I'm not gonna lie. The spinner might be agony. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh God. Oh no. 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 The tires are insane on this car. They've almost got like too much horsepower. Now, this is a good run so far. You've got to really watch your input of the acceleration because it will, oh, like right there. It'll cause the, there we go. It'll cause the tires to just start skidding out. Okay, you gigantic good and plenty. Yeah, I'm just going through it. <laughs> okay, speed. <laughs> Dedication. Okay, I think I got the timing down. Oh, I got the timing down! Yeah! All right, now can it fit through the Monsters Incorporated mouth over here? Wow! Like, perfect! And now I'm about to get just ruthlessly slaughtered by the windmills. I think it broke my engine. It broke my engine. I want to! Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, I actually hit one of the balloons there. I still made it, though. Okay, stalking windmill. I need you guys to help her brother out one time. There you go, perfect. Yeah, 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 oh no, 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 no. Don't you do it. Ow. Oh, this is bad. I. Okay, yep, yep, just put me back up. Put me right side up, thank you. You did it, you're the chosen one. Never mind, I hate you with a burning passion. I believe I could fly. I believe I'm gonna die. Alex crushes my soul every night and day. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, I got it. Ah! No. Music was my downfall. Doing great. Doing great. Okay, that was, that things got really bad really quick. I gotta tell you, man, I am, oh, here we go, here we go, this is good. Yeah, 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 okay. So you can't, oh God, I hate myself. It doesn't fit, you can't double wheel this. Maybe you can tightrope it? Oh, the wheels are just absurd. I've got an idea once we get to the chassis slide. We're gonna just pick a side and I'm gonna try and balance this thing over the chassis slide. Okay, I've thought about, I thought about this. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh God. Okay, it can fit. I I was thinking about just chassis sliding it, picking a side and going, but I think we can tightrope this. Look at this, look at it. <laughs> I just have to have infinite patience with which to do this. Bird, do not fly into my car while I'm trying to make this happen. This is like, it's like performing surgery. This is basically like playing operation. Because if you touch the side walls of the guy and it buzzes your hand, it's the exact same thing here. If I go even slightly too hard on one side, oh, here we go. Oh my God. Oh, it's gonna happen. 
Oh, it's gonna happen. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. What else you got for me? <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's a real jazzy slide. Oh, there's the end. I can't even tightrope this. I have to legitimately jazzy slide this. This is ridiculous. Okay, just go, just go, Gray. It's gonna be fine. Big jump. That was. Oh, that is. It's. 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 A, it's. How are you? This thing's so wide. It's impossible to balance. I am very flustered right now, because while I can get to this point. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is happening. Oh. Oh no. No, it stopped. No, it stopped. No, no, keep going. Keep going. This is amazing that you can kind of balance it. As long as I keep the beam in the middle. Uh oh God. In the middle of the spoiler. Oh, I, can, I got a feel for it. I'm getting a feel for it. We're just going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Big jump. Nice landing. Oh no. Come on, baby. This feels good. Oh, you start to lose it. Okay, I'm centered. Good lit. Hold on, I believe. I believe. I don't believe. I'm not gonna lie, Alex. Your challenge is the devil. Oh, that's good. Here we go. 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 Oh, just get to the end. No. I can get so close. I can taste it. That's a good jump. Oh, that's a good jump. Oh, do I have enough momentum? I'm running out of momentum. But it doesn't matter. I made it. We made it to the bottom. Yeah. Oh my god, do not put your cars on diets because we have a winner! <laughs> Alex wanted to put me up against inverted ramps and so he's created a brand new challenge. Alex and Petey have teamed up and have created four different ramps, each one steeper than the last. In order to open up all the ramps and enjoy the skin peeling ride into the upper atmosphere, I have to complete all their challenges. Each challenge can only be completed by the car that they give you through the unlocks and Alex said good luck, which means I'm going to hate myself. So let's do this. All right. So the way this works is each ramp is 10 degrees steeper than the last, and we're starting at 30 degrees. All right, let's enjoy the stupidity to get to the first challenge. <laughs> what did you do to this ramp, Alex? This is not the way a ramp works. Oh my God, I'm not in control at all. Oh, never mind, I am in control. Wow. I want to know how much testing it took to figure out the exact distance to put this black bar. Guess what else we turned into a wall ride? Ooh. Aliens, actual walls. <laughs> okay, I couldn't believe it. Alcohol or 69? <laughs> of course, I said he hadn't he hadn't worked in the 69 in the last challenge, so he got it right off the bat in this one. What if I choose the wrong answer? I'm gonna pick actual walls, mostly because I know there's no way this is the right answer. Ah, I knew it! Ray, you think you can get a normal wall ride? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> now I'm really concerned. What? What would a 69 wall ride even be? I mean, I gotta check it. Oh, it's not this either? Okay, I mean, it's gotta be. I'm an alcohol? Ooh, what the? Oh, that was a really small. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh no. You took the time and made a wall ride out of bottles. What is that? What is that? I think the other challenge is like a leapfrog and then into a spiral. So you have to use this tube. Oh wow, this is. I'm actually kind of concerned. At oh, whoa. That is, those are really hard turns on a wall ride, man. And this is not the car to be wall riding with. Oh, hold on. Just, they're right there. Like, literally, they were right there. I want to let everyone know they're both fine. Just FYI. Oh, God. That is going to be... Man. And then there's water spouts. And the water spouts always blast you off out of, you know, into the, into the, the, the cirrus clouds above. All right, let me see if I can. Okay, so. Oh God, what is this? Oh, it's like a little hidden area over here. What is that? Hold on, that. Now I'm legitimately curious. What is hidden back here? Now that I saw it, I'm not stopping until I find out what that is. Just nice and slow there. Okay, so we're gonna ride the the lumpy mashed potato fields of alcohol over here in order to get to. Oh, there goes my hood. That's not good. In order to get to whatever hidden thing they've put. It'd be cool if this was like a skip. 
Maybe you're not supposed to be able to beat this, and the only way to beat it is to find this tiny little area. Ah, are you kidding me? It's a troll. All that effort for nothing. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Was this Petey or was this Alex? I want to know who to hate. All right. Well, you know what? That's fine. Because you've taught me that I don't even have to do the wall ride. I just have to do the beer climb. Oh, I'll climb all these beers. I'll do it. Just you wait. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how much of the car I lose. I will. Ooh, that is a really long jump to that platform. Uh, okay, hold on. Whoa! I've been, shut up. I've been double trolled. Double trolled in 30 seconds. I know, you're like, Gray, why are you doing this again? I just, I, I, listen. I need to be absolutely certain. You never know. Maybe I can go fast enough again. See, right there. That's why you check. So, um, <sighs> in case you're wondering, they put a gigantic invisible wall here. All right, touche. Apparently my board cheating exploits have gotten so far that now they just put invisible walls everywhere. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, oh, ah, I can do this 100%. Oh God, and then jump it. Okay, I kind of have to barely kiss my tires on the top of the V. I'll learn the pattern. Oh, I'll learn the pattern. Okay, kiss the tires on the top. There it is. That's how you do it. Yes, yes. Oh yeah. Six the landing, baby. Oh. Oh, that tasted sweet. Okay, the only way I can describe this is this is gonna be like a leapfrog. You have to get all four tires on each beer bottle. If you miss one tire, you're gonna go flying off. And you need to jump at just the right time. So four tires, four tires, four tires. Oh, I'm starting to lose it. Yeah, that's what happens when you lose a single tire. Oh, I got, I got your bottle run down. Oh, I got your bottle run down now though. Oh! Uh, uh, oh, I thought maybe I could <laughs> I thought maybe I could straighten this out and land on there. I cannot. It's all right. I told you. The only thing nonstop agony does is teach me how to beat this stupidity. All right, we're going to go. One, two. Oh, that was too far. I actually need to slow down. All right, we want to hit this. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. You have to have perfect speed. No, 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 don't lose the back end. No, no. Okay, we're almost at the end though. You just have to have absolutely perfect speed. All right, line up as perfectly as possible. Ooh, we're starting to swing already. The suspension on this car is killing me. Keep the rear end straight. Keep the rear end. Oh God, no, no, no. I can get very, very close. Ugh. What a landing. You guys aren't even gonna stop to check and see if I'm all right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like playing DDR. It's like playing DDR, except you're playing DDR to Dragon Force. For the love of all that is holy, <laughs> just let me have this. Look at all the marks for my tires. I hate you. Whoa, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love you now. Oh, oh God. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, right there! I don't care how many times it takes. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yes, it's just, yes, it's happening. It's happening! Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, my God. Uh, uh. Let us never speak of this again. Where's the checkpoint? There's no checkpoint. <laughs> Oh, and I have to do this loop made out of beer, but it's fine, I think. Oh God, it's not fine. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no! Oh, it's, it hurts, but I'm actually starting to get that segment down a little bit. I can do that about 50% of the time now, which is a lot better than like 2% of the time that I was doing before. It's like- Yeah, great. Go ahead and roll a D50. If you get a one, you get to pass. All right. Man, this is tough. You almost have to, whoa, what was that? What was that? Oh, oh, was it like a hidden wall somewhere? All right, this is, this is weird. I'm gonna have to stick to the outside. There we go. Okay, good. 
So stick to the- what is this? So I just have to time the bottle, like this is like spin the bottle, except instead of getting kissed, I'm getting backhanded across the- Oh! Oh, the checkpoint! Okay, so I don't want to mess this up. Ow! Oh, okay. Oh god, no, 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 no! Oh, god. You realize that every time this has happened, I have to do this again, right? <laughs> Do you know how many times I've done this wall ride now? Do you know how many? <laughs> do you see how e I could I could probably paint someone's house and do this at the same time at this point? Oh yeah, we're getting it. Oh, we're getting it every day, all day long. My agony, it means something. It translates. Oh, I hate myself. I what what the. Whoa! <laughs> I hit every tree branch on the way down. That must have been the agony tree. And yes, it does feel like I've hit every branch on the agony tree on the way down. We're just going to... How do I want to do this? I need speed to get past the nose, but the look at how much distance you get. It's so small. Okay, now? Whoa, that is not a lot of... Whoa, we have a checkpoint! Oh, I unlocked the next car. Okay, so if I understand this right, the last ramp was 30 degrees. This one is 40 degrees. Oh yeah, we got a supercar now too. Watch this, he's not gonna give me a wall ride with this car. I'm gonna end up getting, uh, I don't know, like a, a speed bump trial. Oh, whoa, okay, <laughs> oh my God. Is, uh, is part of the allure of this car that it gives you 30 whiplashes in under 0.7 seconds? Is that how it is? Like other vehicles, they tell you that they go zero to 60 in this amount of time. This one, it separates your vertebrae in this amount of time. Can I land this? Uh, yeah, you can kind of aim it. Ooh. Sticks the landing. All right, what do you got for me? Food, drink. Uh, like what do I want? I don't get it. Is one of these gonna murder me in my sleep? I mean, I'm always hungry, so I guess I'll pick food. Was this the wrong answer? Is this? Am I falling to my death now? I'm falling to my death now. Ow. I love that the first choice was alcohol, and I guess the, the right choice here is drink. All right, give me the JD. What is- Oh. My. God. What is- Oh my god, what did you do? I wondered why the file size was so big. What is this cancer? What did you do? Oh my god, there's stuff behind this. How do you even- How do you even start the board? Did you- Is it go- are these like not real props or? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, hold on. I think I know why they give you a supercar now. Okay, so do you see what's behind me? Do you see it? Look at it. What is this? This isn't a course. All right. I. I I don't know. I'm uh, I can't even see where I'm going because the can is in the way. I don't know. I'm just gonna get a bunch of speed and drive through the delicious beverage and hope this works. Here we go. Yiddish. Oh, okay. That wasn't that bad at all. So now there's a chip can and then more soda. So you want to pick the soda. Okay. I see how this works. Okay. Couldn't I technically ramp off of the chips? I guess if you wanted to. Okay. So now the, okay. So now the soda is in the middle here. Oh, I kind of tagged the side. Ah! Soda jump. Sticks to landing. Uh, I'm actually gonna try this. Hold on, just because I think this is fun. <laughs> oh, you can't, I couldn't get enough speed. Listen, if you get a little enjoyment from my anguish, I want a little enjoyment too. If that means I get to ramp my car, then so be it. All right, so we gotta hit right in the middle here. That was a nice piece of. Wow, man, you the. It's almost like a thumbnail hole that you have to squeeze through. This car is pretty wide as well, so there's not much. I gotta stay very close to the middle. I gotta watch out for that bacon too. How about that? There we go, okay, cool. Does this count as a drink? No, that's a food. Isn't that a drink? <laughs> Looks like a drink, unless it's like a bigger fry holder or something. Maybe it's like for an ice cream sundae. I have no idea. Yeet is! Okay, that worked out good. Uh, and then this is all real. And then the beer bottle's on the side. All right, here's my plan. Okay, that was right, cool. Uh, ramp the bacon. <laughs> I had to do it. That was like last minute decision. Ah, oh, come on. I love. Hold on. 
bacon! <laughs> Full flip. Sticks the landing, nice. If you saw, there is a bottle facing us, so I have to thumbnail hole kind of in this little triangle right there, okay? Ooh, you just barely make that. Oh, oh, you put a hidden bun! There's like a hidden bun right at the end! All right, okay, this is all right. I, I got the pattern, oh yeah. All right, now on the right corner, we're gonna kind of go to the left a little bit, and then left corner, and nice. I'm gonna try a different side to see if you can make it, okay. So you don't even need the bacon. You can do this normally. I went too far. I'm gonna get this. It's gonna happen. I don't want, I don't need any more cholesterol bacon. I'm sorry. Okay. And then I need to get even more off to the side. There we go. Perfect. And then you have to thumbnail hole that somehow. All right, I've been at this for a little while. You have to have a perfect run and you need all your, sp ah, wow, there's a spout there too. Anyway, you have to get it perfectly, but you need all the speed. Over the bacon. Okay. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it kind of close to the center here. We're gonna drift to the right, miss the burger bun, then kind of drift a little bit. Oh, that's nice. That's perfect. There it is. What is this? It's like a high saturated fat carousel. I think you have to, okay, so, it, oh, wow, that's a nacho. So you have to outrun this. What, what happened there? Okay, so you have to outrun the moving ground. The drinks are gone, again. So you can go through them. Man, but it's, okay, hold on, this is okay, this is okay. And then this side, I can't move over to the right. Oh, God. I, oh. <laughs> wow, sticks the landing. Get it, sticks? like literally inside of my heart ventricles. All right, this is that, man, that one's tough because it spins really fast. And once you're down, look at, look at the glitchy mess. It's really hard to get the car back to where it's supposed to be. Like basically I need to get hit by something perfectly. Oh, that didn't work. What is going on? Am I moving? <laughs> I feel like I'm driving almost. Don't at, I, I don't understand. Oh, glitched me under the, underneath the board. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's sweet. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So we're going to go through the chip can. Watch out for the Doritos. Weave through. Then you got to go to the left. Then these walls are entirely fake for some reason because they're cola walls. Like that. Oh, I hit the burger wall. So the, the walls that show the drink as the... Oh, God. As the advertisement, you can go through. The walls that show the food as the advertisement, you can't go through. Oh God, no, 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 hold on, hold on, Wait, hold. Oh, epic save, go to the left. This is happening. No, it's a burger. Wait, I can, I can save this, I can save this. Okay, we're still fine, we're still fine. Oh, I'm gonna pick right because I don't have a choice. I almost got Doritoed right out of the board. This is my longest run. This is incredible. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's windmills, why? No, no, yes, yes. I'll do it backwards, I don't care. I'll do, oh God, no. Oh my God. this is insane. No, no, wait, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> I'm so close. No, no, oh, that was so good. I'm reinvigorated. This can 100% be done. Oh, this, this is a sweet run so far. Oh, maybe not. Wait, hold on, I can fix this. Oh yeah, this is a sweet run. And then Pringle can, stay to the left, almost die, back to the right, sweep it out. And then we're gonna go back to the left, swing the, the end around, right, left, middle. There it is. Oh my God, it's right there. The end is right there. Come on, just go. No! I have gotten so close. Oh God, that I can taste it. And it tastes like nonstop anguish. I need to be left. I think I can still fix this. Now it's gonna be middle. There we go. Okay, spin it, spin it, nice. And then we have a couple of windmills coming up, but we're more than halfway through when you get to the windmills. I don't know how that windmill didn't just hit me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. We're right there. No, 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 Yes! Yeah! Got a checkpoint, baby! You were not kidding when you said this was ridiculous. Oh god.
Out of all the challenges that I've done so far, invisible cars, invisible wall rides, this has been, wow, whoa. <laughs> this has been one of the most ridiculous ones I think I've ever done. I love how we are basically just a railgun bullet at this point. We don't lose any height. We could, we could probably encircle the entire circumference of the globe. What is that? What is that? You see the... It's like a roller coaster? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it looks really, really bad. Okay. Oh, hold on. I think we're coming down. We're coming down. Oh, I overshot it. Oh, no. I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe I overshot that the first time. All right, so there's no choice here. I didn't have to pick, you know, heart disease or something. So what is this? Are these like consecutive loops? Is that what this is? So, all right, you get a boost. That's cool. Oh my God, they're loop transfers. Oh no. Okay, that is really bad. This is, this is sick. Okay, so you have to use the dummy proofing and then everything's backwards now. So, oh man, I want to go to the other side. This is going to come down to muscle memory. So jump, land it, and then we want to go over to the, the left, which is the right. Okay, going up, use the dummy proof, flip, land, dummy proof again. I went off the side. Are they curled? Are these perfectly straight or are they curled slightly? I think they're perfectly straight. So I just gotta, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm slowly getting it. I'm gonna try this in first person just to see if it's any better. Okay. Uh, and then the wall's gonna be on the right? Yeah. Oh, I missed the, man, I missed the flip. All right, it's probably easier in first person, but it looks terrible. So I can kind of maneuver the camera a little bit. This is it. This feels good. That's a good transfer. I'm losing it right at the very end, but I'm getting a little bit closer every single time. Oh! Oh my god, and a checkpoint! <laughs> and with that checkpoint, I get to unlock happiness beyond. <laughs> oh, am I gonna go beyond happiness? I kind of like that. <laughs> All right, what does happiness taste like? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, well, happiness is pretty steep. It kind of feels like I'm gonna die. Here we go. Okay. All right. Oh, I lost all my my wheels evaporated. I don't have wheels anymore. They're gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. I, I went so fast. The color left the game. <laughs> this is amazing. We wanted to put GTA cars up against famous wonders, and so Alex and Petey have teamed up to create a brand new challenge. There's all kinds of impressive things like Stonehenge and the Titanic, except now instead of inspiring and impressing people, they're here to drive me insane. Alex said that some of these challenges are so brutal he gave me checkpoints for once. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. I've got a mountain of cars to choose from to try and overcome history, but as always, only one can complete the challenge. Let's do this. I always wanted to see Stonehenge, but I never thought it would be trying to murder me. Also, thanks for the LMAO on my quad. So the aliens are what abducting parts of Stonehenge and they're going to try and beat me over the skull with them. Feels like an Alex board. This is a big jump. Where do you land it? I can see the, the Great Wall of China in the background. All right, this is a challenge that requires much less thinking than I, than I think it, than I think it means. So let's just jump this and see how we do. I am not even close. Also, while I was leaving some of my strawberry jelly on Stonehenge so that everyone who sees it from now on could appreciate it, what is this other text? Welcome to my home country. Here are some stones in a field. <laughs> now, if you're like me and you don't know where Stonehenge is located, don't worry, Google has your back. Hey, Google, where is Stonehenge located? Stonehenge is at Salisbury SP47DE, UK. That was... Very alphabetical, but there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and say there is absolutely no way humanly possible that I can jump Stonehenge in this, but I'm gonna give it one more shot. Just for like maximum speed and distance with the pullback, not even close. I landed in exactly the same spot as the last time. My blood's even in the same place. Oh, this is great. I can't wait to give everyone in my social studies class tetanus with this. 
That's pretty impressive distance for this. Just driving it probably took 400 years off of my life, which means I've died three times over already at the very least. If you didn't know the lifespan of the typical Floridian is about 160 years. I can almost make this. Okay, I am as far back as humanly possible. I really want to give this the best try. Also, I noticed that there is a teleporter UFO kind of looming around. Big forward lead about six feet short. Also, I love that there is duct tape holding the paneling on this car. All right, last try. This is like the best run I could muster. I touched it. I touched the platform with the roof. That's about as far as I could get with this thing. You did very well, and now you can rest. And by rest, I mean fly off of the floating area that was constructed painstakingly by Petey and Alex. All right, we're using something legit. Oh, badgers. I love them, and they love me. Mmm. Ah. Uh, I feel like I got less air in this. You better not disappoint me. I chose you to finally Well, wow, all right, that was my fault. Oh, hold on. I was trying to stick the landing on top of Stonehenge. Last try. I'm not giving this 100 attempts. We're gonna, it's not close. Nope, we need to pick a new car. Okay, so I just need speed, a lot of speed. You look good, you look fast. You look like you don't, you can't decide whether or not you wanna be Batman or like the lady from 100 Dalmatians, but whatever. Oh yeah, oh, this is speed. Here we go, yay! Big distance. Oh, sticks the, no, ha! That teleport is a lot bigger than you think. All right, now I legitimately have to kind of time. I got hit by the, I got hit by the Stonehenge chunk. I don't believe it. I never thought that that would even contact my car. I don't know if I should be impressed or annoyed that I managed to hit that. I hit it again. <laughs> I suck the landing too. This is ridiculous. The fact that I still haven't made this is just driving me crazy. You better not do it. Okay, good. And six to landing. There we go. Wow, that uh, that teleporter takes up a huge amount of space. I assume I'm jumping the Great Wall of China next. <laughs> oh, a teleporter. Great Wall of China jump. Oh, is that my first checkpoint? I guess I'll find out if I fail this. <laughs> this is a wide ramp. I'm sure it'll be fine. Great Wall of China! Ow. Ugh. Now I'm rolling down a hill. Ah, oh, yep, nope, oh, hey, six, nope, into the bush, and then full flip, kill the bird, and here we are. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like I have to pick a side. Oh yeah, and you have to thumbnail hold, <laughs> that's awesome, whoa. Oh, no, 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 I just threw up my uvula. Okay, and hey, another another checkpoint. All the Titanic jump. That is impressive. Did you build this whole thing? <laughs> I don't know if this is like a, a wonder of the world or just a wonder of of technology or what, but it's kind of amazing. So what do I have to thumbnail the smokestacks? <laughs> Where's Leonardo DiCaprio at? He's gotta be around here somewhere. All right, let's uh, bank off of the Bank off of the, uh, the icebergs and jump the Titanic. Here we go. Ow. Uh, well, I guess I should have picked a side because all I did was run into the Titanic. We're going to pick the left side. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is a long jump. It's not just that it's a long jump. There's also a windmilling iceberg trying to murder you while you're trying to do this. Like, look at the iceberg just flying through the air. Oh! <laughs> Home run! <laughs> that was kind of awesome. I'm, I'm sort of glad I got hit by that thing because it's so impressive. You and me, iceberg. We may not see eye to eye, but you will be bested. I don't think I can make this. Yeah, there is no way. I need a faster car. So I learned something awful. In order to get a new car, I have to come all the way back to the beginning and the checkpoints don't work unless you teleport through them with the vehicle. <laughs> I'm glad that you put the horn in that makes me want to gouge my eyes out with my mouse, all right? Speed on this feels okay. Uh, aerodynamics on it is... Not amazing. Oh, this is good height, but I don't think I can- Oh! It knocked me out of the car! 
And then I think the car actually came back and slapped me across the face. I got hit by two different things. All right, let's pick something that's even faster. This is the essence of life, which I've been leaving all over this map. There is so much gray juice on this map. My blood is everywhere. Oh, wow. Wow, first try. Okay, we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna go. All right, so first checkpoint, there we go. Great Wall of China, as long as I pick a side, I like the right side. Shouldn't give me any trouble. So Great Wall of China, there you go. Thumbnail hold, sticks the landing. Okay, Titanic jump. You have basically pile-drived my ambitions. I'm gonna go on the right this time. You have been pile-driving. Well, I mean, it was terrible. You have pile-driven my ambitions, but no more. And we're not going to the right anymore because the problem is the smokestack leans to the right. There we go. I still can't make it. All right, I, I put this thing back as far as possible. There's no curbs for me to boost from. So I can't even get any extra speed. And no, this is not close. All right, I don't, I don't wanna have to do this again. So I'm picking something that just has a ton of speed and can get a lot of air. There we go. No problem. First shot. Great Wall of China. I know where to line this thing up now. Look at this, you ready for this? One time, one time. A oh, one time! Oh God, hold on. No, <laughs> I had to camp that a little bit. One time! Leonardo DiCaprio! Yes, yes, no! Oh, it almost hit my spoiler. Don't cry for me, Celine Dion. I will make, ah! I gotta cheat. I go all the way off on the side where the dirt is to get a little extra speed. <laughs> I don't know if that's better or kind of like ramping it up the back of that iceberg and doing it that way. Cause I'm so close to being able to make this. Look at this, man, I hit the iceberg a lot in this car. Yeah, gray seeking iceberg. What do you have some against Floridians or something? So that's a good jump and still not close okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna lean forward pretty much immediately on this jump so lean big 90 degree angle oh my god <laughs> oh that was by the skin of my car <laughs> i don't even i don't even know if i could say that this technically made that because it really didn't it just kind of leaned enough on the hood that it managed to get it but that's fine because we have a teleporter oh yeah oh what the Derpy Big Ben jump. Derpy Big Ben, huh? What is the time doing? The time is MCU multiversing. It's kind of doing whatever it wants. I have I have no idea what's happening here. Do I have to jump over Big Ben? I'll figure it out when I figure it out. Here we go. Oh, you don't jump over it. Oh, it's uh Oh, hold on. oh my god. <laughs> uh it's it's, there's no collision. I assume you have to dodge the uh, time arm. So that's what's happening. So now we have the Eiffel Tower jump and some of the helicopters are dancing. I don't know what they're doing. They like teleport every once in a while. Helicopters! Oh, ooh. Oh my God! Oh, I almost made it. I'm, I'm drowning alive, but I was almost there. I'll tell you, there's nothing quite like a balanced breakfast made out of salt water. So the arms do have collision, so they can stop you. Never thought I'd have to thumbnail hole through a gigantic clock. So, I just, did I just get lucky the first try? <laughs> no joke, this is way harder than you think. Oh, this one looks good, hold on. And, whoa, ooh. I got hit, but it still counted apparently. All right, Eiffel Tower jump. I gotta jump through all of the helicopters. All right, so big speed. And we're gonna have to lean just the right way so that we go over. Oh, it does teleport upward. Big upward jump off the, oh my God. <laughs> oh man, it went off the helicopter. I thought I could ramp it or something. Okay, so if you get up this, can I just walk through this or does it have to be in a car? Okay, so you have to be in a car in order to make this work. Okay, I got bad news. I've been at, the Eiffel Tower for a while. I cannot get over it. This one's called Power. I'm gonna see if this is even faster than the other cars. I need something so fast that I can jump across all, ooh, ah. Uh, I don't know what the top speed is like. The the main, like this, the pickup is kind of middling. Let's find out right now, because I'll have plenty of time to go through the teleporter and then do the Great Wall. I can't hit the helicopters. I gotta somehow go past them. 
So I need something that is just oh, it's nice and thin though. It's really easy to get through the <laughs> get through the wall uh, the wall battlements there. All right, let's see how it does the Titanic. Lean forward. Uh, oh, first try. First try on the. All right, well I fell off, but I can get this. Not just that. This legitimately. Ah, uh, what I was trying to say is this can legitimately do the Titanic. Sometimes you get such a good jump that it, there we go. You make it by a full car length. Please don't go flying off. <laughs> Thank God this thing has four wheel drive. Oh, this SUV is spectacular. This is the type of thing that I want to pick up my groceries and then mow down a line of non-believers in. Ugh. Made it. So we can get to this point without much trouble. The center of gravity on this thing is really odd. Now, the question is, how does it do against the Eiffel Tower? Okay. Ah, uh, hmm. I, I think I can get this. It's definitely got the distance covered. It's more a matter of where can I not hit this helicopter? So no leaning. Oh, there we go. Oh my, like my tires hit the, the props. Oh, we're right there. Okay, we're, we touched it so softly and supplely. This can happen. Also, I finally figured something out. I hadn't really thought to do this until now. This teleporter brings you back here so you don't have to do the Big Ben over and over again. Power. Agility. Ferraris! Yes. Yes! This is it. This is perfect. This is perfect. Blunt. Land sideways. There we go! Yes! Oh, this car is the one. This car is the Neo of vehicles. Right here. Morgan Freeman. Thank you for bestowing this car upon me. Why did both of those birds, did they just do like a drug deal in front of my car? All right, teleporter. Ugh. Oh. Welcome to the Pyramids of Giza jump. Now I got a little history lesson from Petey as to why the pyramids here are white. Apparently the stones started out white and over time they became yellow, see? So this is when the pyramids were originally built by aliens, of course. Now, the cool part is I've been kind of wandering around here to look at this place. If I fall off the platform, this rock allows me to get back on here. So that's kind of awesome. So let's give it a shot. I love aliens. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, what happened? Whoa. Do I have to go around the tip of the pyramid? Because I don't know how I would do that. Oh, okay. So there's a beam there that teleports you back to here. So how do you get around the beam? So the, oh, the beam stops and starts. Okay, so jump the beam, land on the platform, keep your speed, go again. Do you have to time like every beam? Are you serious? All right, that's fine. I can do this. I have the pain tolerance. First try, look at that, right there. Second, please go away, please go away. Yeah! Oh wow, that was really far. Okay, so you can't lose any speed. Power. Anguish. <laughs> God. I have a feeling I'm gonna be teleporting back here a lot. Come on, baby. Now, get past the alien. Okay, get probed by the aliens. I've got nothing left for you to probe. There's nothing left you aliens can learn from the insides of my body. You've seen every part of it at this point. Please go. Mm. All right, Giza endurance run. Take 480. Oh, okay. We got there just as the teleporter left. So that was good. So is that timing good for this one? No, I'm just gonna run this over and over again until I eventually, okay, that's gotta be it. Because I didn't even see the tele, yeah, this is good, this is good, here we go, here we go. Oh, I went off to the right just a little bit. Pyramid number one. Oh, I kind of went around it. I got to center this. Otherwise, we're not going to make it. Pyramid number two. I got it. Oh, I, I have no idea what happened there. I don't know if I went over the teleporter or I, whatever. Teleporter number three. Yes. I can make it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Through the teleporter. Oh, thank you, God. You have no idea how many times I reset that. Welcome to... Chichen Itza. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like chicken, which I do love and I'm really hungry right now. So, oh, oh God. So you have to dodge all of the stones. Then you have to jump. I guess you have to thumbnail hold this? 
That's awful. I love shoving cars into various orifices. Here we go. Okay. Uh, oh, I need even more speed. I mean, I guess I could try and climb this, but I think I'll get bludgeoned. Oh, or not. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm almost there. Oh, no, 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 it's so steep. Oh. I can save this. This is fine, I can save this. Okay, so it does land on the ground. So I can go back here and then get immediately domed. Ow! Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is perfect, this is perfect. And... Got it. Ooh. Oh, no. Look at how far away the checkpoint is. I mean, I gotta try it, but I have a feeling he made this far enough to the point where... Yep, you have to thumbnail hole it and keep your speed. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, we're gonna have to time this uh, so that you ramp it, keep all of your momentum, and then thumbnail hole it. Ever since I've made fun of this thing's name, I've been getting, oh, here we go. Oh, I'm going over it. Does it count? There's no way I can make it there. I need the jump. This is ridiculous because, man, if I overshoot it, I can't get it. There's no way. And if I undershoot it, I won't go through the hole. So I need the perfect jump. By the power of thumbnails, I... Oh, that was my closest landing I've had. I'm getting... I'm getting the pattern. Okay, this feels good. Oh, this feels good! Oh, no! You have to be perfect on the speed coming into this jump. Oh, here we go. Please, God, Brock, this is it! Off the ramp! We have a winner! We want to jump vehicles over the most random and largest objects in GTA, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. We went ahead and gave Alex full creative agency to develop the most ridiculous and largest jump challenges he could, and obviously I should have never done that. Because he wants to make my sanity go into nuclear meltdown, I'm not going to just jump over normal objects, of course. There's everything from sky-high stacks of helicopters to nuclear launch sites, and because why not, King Kong-sized breakfast items. As always, he's given all these different cars with which to try and enter upward into Valhalla, but all of them will get backhanded except for one. Let's do this. Welcome to the eggs and bacon jump. When I load into an Alex board, I always say to myself, I have at least some idea of what I might read for the very first challenge. Was not expecting that. Gotta say he, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yolks! <laughs> Alex legitimately made a massive football stadium sized skillet filled with eggs and bacon. This is incredible. Ah, yes, we'll be solving world hunger and destroying my life. Love it. All right, three wheel, how much protein do you want? The answer is always yes! Oh. Oh, there's slowdown sticks down here too. So, what happens when you're inside of the pan? Do I get cooked as well? I do get cooked! <laughs> I was gonna say, do I become part of the breakfast? The answer is yes. Gray and ham. Love it. Don't mind me just break dancing on my head. All right, I, I get the idea that there is almost no way that this three wheel can get past the very first challenge, but I am prepared to go all the way up this mountain and get us maximum distance to try this. So here we go. Full distance. Eggs and bacon jump. No idea why, but why not? Not a chance. The sad part is every time I fail, I have to burn alive. <laughs> yes, this does feel like a terrible choice. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to try it. After all, since it's a fire truck, it may make me fire resistancy. Uh, this did worse than the three wheel. And I have the feeling that while I believe maybe it is fire resistant, it maybe isn't. I'm curious too how, oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, your gigantic bowling ball sized yolks are quite violent. You know that, Alex? I have to take a moment too to, to mention that the fire truck is indeed on fire. The fire truck is now blowing up and killing me. The answer last time was power metal, which means the answer this time will also be more power metal. From the top rope. Here we go. I'm going for it. Plus this like ridiculous object does have a decent top speed. Oh, if I didn't hit that ball, I think we would have made it. The power of Rocky Balboa compels you. Anytime I do this challenge, I can only see, I think it was Rocky one where he's just eating raw eggs out of a glass, a half a dozen of them. Not gonna lie, your challenge is a lot harder than I previously anticipated. There we go. 
Yeah! Oh, that is a big jump. Sticks to landing upward and a little bit of a lean to the... No! 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 Stop rolling! <laughs> Uh, and of course I land right on the train tracks. Come on, baby. So not only do you have to jump this correctly. Oh God. Then you have to, ooh. Hey, oh no. <laughs> this is so much harder than it needs to be. It is. There we go, that's a great jump. Okay, now I just want to land like, oh God, all right, there is no. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I think I can get this. Stop. Yeah. First challenge, got it. And now that I'm here, I do have to mention there is an entire missile being launched behind me and that is really concerning. Get into the chopper jump. Get into the chopper jump. Okay, am I, am I supposed to say this with maximum Schwarzenegger? Oh my God. I can't see where the choppers end. That's a lot of choppers, man. Uh, there's really no way to cheat this either. All right, we're gonna get maximum distance for this because I have a feeling that you're going to need to do the eggs and bacon challenge and keep all of your speed in order to have any chance at jumping this. If I had to guess, we're not even gonna get halfway. Here we go. Oh, we got way further than I thought we would. We're probably right about halfway. Oh, God! Yeah, let's try a new car. All right. We're using the Raptor. Let's see how it does. I do love a vehicle that's made with absolutely no safety in mind. You may be asking yourself, Gray, how well does the Raptor burn? Oh, hey! Oh, God. Oh, yeah. It's fine. I've got everything not under control at all. I'm pretty surprised that this thing made it over the pan. I really didn't think it would. And it can totally clear the pan. I mean, full clear. That's hot. Literally, that is, that is hot. Like so hot that you burn. All right, how is it at, uh, I guess, jumping over infinite choppers. Here we go. Uh, got right about where the last vehicle got. And now I'm gonna die because I got backhanded by one of the blades. Fortunately, getting to this point is not a big deal. The problem now is just getting past this. I needed even more speed. We're going motorcycle time. Oh, the motorcycle just killed me. The motorcycle, I am now eating the front wheel. The front wheel tasted like pain. Okay, we're gonna give this motorcycle another try, but this time I'm gonna pull back a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, keep the speed, push hard, big jump all the way. You know what, maybe I can just go around the helicopters. Maybe that'll work. That is not working. I am now falling toward the ground very fast and my groin just went out my mouth. Ah yes, that moment when your wiener gets pulverized so hard that you die from it. Oh wow. So not only do I get chucked to the side in the cars, but the blades can flat out murder me in the motorcycle. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I never thought I would have to jump over a, oh yeah, a deck tuplet sandwich of helicopters. Oh, boom! All the way over! Oh God, now I have to land this. Fall send, baby! <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Uh, well, the bike can legitimately do it. Wouldn't have thought. All right, what else you got for me? <laughs> the Chernobyl job. Why would you put this here? Oh God, what is, sir, do you know how time it is? What is going on? Oh, is this like the cursed animal that's been exposed to the, uh, the radiation? God, it looks like a bunch of chicken legs all fighting for dominance with a deer head attached to it. This is like the ugliest curse thing I think I've ever seen in my life. I kind of want to put it out of its misery, but I don't think I can. I think it's just like part of the scene. Oh, there's another guy. Just random barrels of toxic waste chilling out. You got a mirror, man. Oh, buddy. I don't know if you know this, but you have lost all of your facial features. You now just look like the skin of a hot dog. Okay, so I guess I have to jump through this and then, I don't know, I'm like dodging a bunch of nuclear pipes and maybe some rockets. This is a very busy challenge and I have no idea where I'm supposed to go, so here we go! Ooh, okay. Uh, well, I kind of went off. What the? What happened? 
I like insta died. Did uh, one of the pipes destroy my medulla or something? All right, real quick, I figured we would try a different car because I'm gonna start like moving towards stuff that has a ton of speed. I think we're gonna need it in order to get over, oh my God, in order to get over the nuclear power plant. So this is close. I <laughs> haven't been RKO'd by the yoke in a while. This one's pretty close. I, maybe it can get over the helicopters. I'm not sure. I think I would probably need to curb boost this to have any chance, but I'm gonna give it one more straight up shot. Big lean, forward pull, it cannot make it. All right, it's been a long time, Baja Mobile. How does it do against bacon and eggs? Pretty bad. Let's try that one more time. Maybe with, le are you kidding me? Stop feeding me with your chicken children. I cannot believe this. It's like a homing missile on those yokes. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, okay. So six to landing, but can it get over the helicopters? Bully eat, forward lean, not even close. You never know, okay? All right, how are you jumping Titanic-sized pants? Now, it does have the boost on it, which totally didn't matter because I suck at lining things up. All right, let's try this boost one more time. The problem is, dude, things so big. I, oh, oh my God. Oh, wow, the boost kind of matters. Hold on, we need more distance. Are you ready? Huh. Well, that turned out to be incredibly lackluster. Ugh. I'm just checking. I assume he did not make these destructible. The answer is no. All right, there's still a lot more challenges left, and I love beers. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Now made with 35% more Canada. That was terrible. All right, let's do a little bit of curb boosting and then jump this and get hammered. And I don't mean hammered the good way, like the beer way. Hey, there we go. Okay, full speed, perfect landing. Nice and straight off of the launch pad. No. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Just planting some, some vegetables, if you will. See, this is fertilizer. It might look like gasoline. It's not. It's gasoline flavored fertilizer. This is what you get. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be the longest death in the history of my jow! All right, never mind. Pure speed. All right, we're going hard now. Look at this, banana, pink. Okay, strawberry banana. It's a great flavor. You ready? Boom, first try, right over the pan. I almost felt like that was gonna fail completely. Over the helicopters. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh, full back flip and turn to the side. Flat landing. All right, Chernobyl. I'm about to shove my potassium up your your Richter scale, whatever it's. I can't remember what it's called. Your Geiger counter. Also, is this is this explodable or how's this work? Oh, kind of curious. Oh, it's gone. Oh, blew up the random poor guy. All right, speed time. Big speed. Bit. Well, what the? What happened there? All right, I have no idea what happened that last time, but now we have full speed over the pipe, tip the, okay, tip the hood, and land into the fires of Mordor, great. Ah, yes, I never thought I would have to jump over Mount Doom before, hey! Uh, where do I put this thing, though? So, I've been at this for a little while. I think I have to thumbnail hole, let me show you. See this? All the way in the front right there? I'm almost reaching it. I think I need to thumbnail hole this. And then land it! Yeah! <laughs> wow, I hope that was how I was supposed to beat this because that's all I could manage and figure out. Okay. Ah, and of course, this leads into the nuclear launch jump. Nice. Obviously, I, I always wanted to have to jump a car over a nuclear launching missile. Well, it's not just one of them, there's like two missiles. I think we got the speed to do it. I'm here to blow up countries and regain my sanity. Oh, and I'm all out of sanity! Hey! Hold on, I think I can land this. I think I can land this. Ah, oh, I was right there! No, I jumped to the missile! This is monumentally harder than you think. Okay, I can get over the first missile. Oh my God. It's just maintaining enough speed to land this. Over the pipes. 
Oops. Okay, never mind. I'm having some issues. Like 50% of the times when I jump these pipes, it glitches like that. You know what? We're gonna try a new car. Say hello to number 44. The vehicle that you can use to take the kids to school. And give them whiplash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh nice. Oh man, this is great. Okay, and nice flat landing. Perfect. All right, how does it do on the Chernobyl jump? They call me Chernobulus the Mighty. Out of the way, deer. Apocalypse deer. Ooh, okay. I needed to probably angle the front a l up a little bit more. All right, I came into this with a curb boost. Huh, had the same problem as the last vehicle. Come on. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tesla coils. Oh, I'm burning alive. Oh, no. I'm getting electrocuted now. Oh, hey. One of my old buddies. It ain't easy. Oh, man. I don't think I can make it in this. All right, this is my last try. We're going to do curb boosting pretty much the whole way. Big jump. That was a good release. Okay. 90 degree angle pointed downward. <laughs> oh, all right, I've had enough of this car. I met with two vehicles that look like they can probably do well, and then number 69. And if Alex puts the number 69 on a vehicle, I've got to try it. All right, Alex, did you soup this thing up? Is this the hidden diamond in the rough? No, not at all. This is garbage. This thing's going to 69 itself right into the shadow realm. Okay, uh, well this car has a little bit of red on it, which means it's fast. We Wang powers, activate. Ooh, they did activate. Okay. Uh, how we feel about the helicopter jump? Helicopter jump feels, oh my God, talk about just barely making it. It skimmed the back of the license plate. Whoa! Oh my God! Oh, that was a little too close. <laughs> if it just barely made the helicopter jump, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make the Chernobyl jump. I'm gonna give it a shot. That was a clean release. Wow. Huh? Look at that! It did pretty good. It's so weird. I'm like, what is this? There's no, there's no floor here but it kind of is pretending that there is a floor. I have no idea what is going on with this prop. I'm trying to find out if I can get out of this and let, hey, sweet. Well, I have no idea how that worked. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Okay, nuclear launch, big jump, forward lean, clears it, not too bad. Wow, my God. <laughs> wow. Uh I would say I could see my house from here, but I think I can legitimately see everyone's house from here. It is going to take me a full 30 seconds just to hit the ground. There is nothing quite like getting nuclear launched all the way to Saturn. So this can definitely jump over the problem. Oh, here we go. No, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Yeah, nuclear launch completed. Okay. Ah, the sweet sounds of progression. What is this eye cancer? What does it say? The sprunk jump. Okay. Sounds pretty simple. Looks awful. Uh, so it is a gigantic, like, bowling pin tower of sprunk. At least you gave me a really big ramp. I'm just checking to make sure there's, like, no way I can cheat this or anything. All right, that was worth a try. All right, full speed, a little bit of curb boosting. Ramp up the sprung ramp, and uh, I fell way short. Okay, getting to this point isn't that bad. Oh, man, maybe I can kind of go off to the side? If you notice, I have become a pro at dodging nuclear launch missiles. Now, it's it, I still have no idea how I'm supposed to get past this, though, because I can't get through... Oh. Actually, I have an idea. Hold on. All right, here's the plan. We're not gonna jump over this. We're gonna jump through it. Maybe saying, great, what, what are you talking about? about? I think I can get through that tiny little opening, but I'm gonna need a different car. Yeah, Draugr, I'm not picking you, man. You're not gonna be able to do it. What is a mountain lion doing here? What are you running from? The mountain lion's like, I'm not getting caught up in a Greystill Plays board, no chance. Okay, electric car, lots of speed off the line. Great aerodynamics. Okay, this feels really good. Then over the, come on, 
over the helicopters. Oh, oh no! Again, the helicopter just barely touches the spoiler. That is crazy how close that comes. All right, Chernobyl jump. This is the one. Oh my God. I forgot that that responds every time. That almost ruined the entire try. It's weird too, because the toxic waste canister sometimes just goes flying out of the way. Like it doesn't weigh a lot, but with this car, it almost straight up stopped me. So big jump here, lots of air. I, I can almost jump over the entire prop. That's awesome. Oh yeah, just like an elephant giving birth. We'll kind of blob our way out right over here. Perfect. Okay, missile launch. I, this one feels good. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be first try on this. First try. You ready? <laughs> okay, that was kind of close. And we cleared it with a ton of space. Nice. So now the sprunk jump. So let me see if I could do what I what I said I wanted to do, which is go up in here. <laughs> Yes, okay. So go up in here and we're gonna blob out onto the other side of the challenge. And if I don't make it, I can kind of just fall back onto this, this roadway and I could try again. Okay, big jump. Just kind of penetrate up the middle, not quite. No, I love that door. Ah! Sadness. Okay, this run has been pretty good. Only a couple of smudges on the roof. That's nice. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! I don't believe it! <laughs> Sticks the landing! God, that's hot! And we have a checkpoint! Welcome, everyone, to Alien Spinny Jump. Okay, so we've got the alien ship uh, dancing around like a ballerina and it has a hoop on it. Okay, so I'm guessing how this works is, this is my assumption, the hoop has a teleporter, it has to, because there's no way we're gonna make this jump. It's, I can tell you right now, it's not possible. So I'm assuming what we do, aim for the hoop, pray to God that Alex put a teleporter there, and then we get teleported to the end, maybe, hopefully. We'll find out in a second. All the way back, Line it up. I wish I could tell you I had some sort of like great idea for how we're gonna do this, but we're just gonna guess. And oh my god, this is pretty. Oh my god! Yeah! Ah! Oh my car is healed. That's awesome. <laughs> we're actually the ones probing the aliens, and that means that we have a winner! Oh, now I understand why he healed the car so he could blow it up when it hits the boat. Now, anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.